America's fresh water. She gives us our drinking water, the food we eat, and memories with the ones we love most. But across the United States, this clear blue water is becoming more and more a thing of the past. Our lakes, rivers, ponds, and oceans are filled with algae, bacteria, sewage, and other harmful substances. But now, Green Water Solutions is here to help restore our most precious resource. Green Water Solutions is a partnership of technology and people who know the water business. What we do is we take water from the lake or pond or river and we, we take it in through our machine, we create ozone in the machine, we create the nanobubbles coming out of the machine, and we inject the, the ozone-infused nanobubbles into the water. That water goes out, they eliminate toxins, bacteria, viruses, algae that are dangerous in the water, and the ability to put in as much ozone as needed and to monitor it to be sure that we're doing this in a safe and effective manner is one of the great um, things about the technology that we're able to do. Let's head now to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in South Carolina, where Dr. Peter Moeller, who is working independently with Green Water Solutions and any other verified NBOT technology through a CRADA, can elaborate on the process of this treatment. We have spent many, many years monitoring. You know, we come and we find algae in your lake and we tell you you have algae. Okay, now we've got an avenue to truly mitigate, remediate, but the real beauty of this is environmental stewardship because this process is not only more effective than, in my view, anything that I have seen to date, but it's green. Because when it's all said and done and we walk away, we've just put oxygen in the water. One of the great parts of the nanobubble ozone technology is the fact that the ozone breaks down, creates the hydroxy radicals, it goes and does its work, and leaves the water with more O2. And you would see the fish gathering near where we were doing the treatment. And you, know, you could see the fish in the water now, and the oxygen is really a, the benefit to the water and to the ecosystem. As long as we have microbes in the water, we have to be concerned about a lot of compounds being produced that we recognize as toxins. Um, and the interesting thing is, is that these toxins can change from day to day depending on the microbial consortia. The algae, the bacteria, the fungi, the viruses can all vary after 24, 48 hours. So what we are trying to do here is to deal with all of the organisms and all of the toxins, whether we know they're there or not. And so the advantage of ozone, hydroxy radicals, and peroxides that come out of this process are that they strip down these organic chemicals that cause problems for humans. They strip them of their what we would call functional groups in chemistry and turn them into innocuous organics that are no longer toxic to you and me. So when we start a project and we look at the water and you think, this is bad, and who would, who would go in that water? And when you see the water when you're done, when it went from covered with algae it, to it's clear, it, it's bacteria free, the chemical analysis that we see coming out after we do the treatment is phenomenal. And I, I think it makes, it'll make the water safe for everyone. What you're looking at in this particular slide is uh, freeze-dried algae from Lake Erie and Grand Lake St. Mary's. It's full of toxins and all the unknowns that I've just alluded to. And so we extracted it. And what you're looking at here, the water is white. I apologize for that. Uh, we just started the uh, nanobubble generator with just air. There's nothing else in this water. What we're going to put into this tank is a make-up harmful algal bloom. We're going to put in uh, a number of liters of 45 million cells per mil chlorella. In addition to that, I'm going to throw in the extract from that dried algae that I just showed you. What you're going to see is that we're going to start it up with just air. And nanobubbles are invisible to the eye, but we're generating trillions of them so they diffract light. And that comes up as this white that you see. Now, if you focus down here in the bottom, you're going to see this is just air coming in. And you're going to see that uh, it's not changing color. It's, there's, there's not a lot of differences here. So what that means is that although ox or air may be doing something, it's not doing very much, not in a timely fashion. And if you have algae in the water in your home, you, you simply don't want to do that waiting forever. Now, if you can see this line right here, we have now just converted it over. That's oxygen in the nanobubbles. It's a flick of a button on the machine. We can go from air to oxygen generation. 
And what you're going to see a little bit over time here, now that's ozone. Ozone makes water go ape. And the water just gets excited. We're not changing the flow rate. We're not changing anything. But we're adding ozone to the water. Now I want you to watch what happens to the color of the water over time. In the space of 8 to 16 minutes, um, this is going to become snow white. So that's the ozone. You see the water getting all excited. All of the organics, the cells and the extracts are being shredded. And you're seeing that it's, um, the nice thing about the nanobubbles is they pervade through water. And so it's going to fill the entire tank with ozone. And you can see it gets whiter and whiter uh, because all of the pigments, all of the toxins, all of these contaminants are destroyed. And if we let it set for an hour, you can see the clear water uh, that remained. And this happens every time that we, we have done this type of an experiment. So when we first went to Port Mayaka and we went to the lock and the algae was almost like a felt on top of the water. And we looked at it and thought, boy, this is really going to be a good test of this technology. And it was, a, it was remarkable to see the ability of the ozone technology to, over two 12-hour periods, take the water from almost like you could walk on it as a felt to after the second day where the water was totally clean. It was absolutely amazing. When we went to Lake Duport in Ohio and we decided to put our equipment in certain spots and we wanted to test how this would travel through the lake. So what we didn't realize is how good the technology actually is as it traveled all the way from one end of the lake to the other, approximately a mile and a half. And we would see the water from day to day, where one day you've got algae, the next day you have less, the next day you have less. And over a week's time, the entire lake was clean and you could see into the water. And as we took pictures, the water turns blue as the light shines down into the water, which was absolutely amazing. When you treat water with chlorides and copper and some of these other agents that um, form legacy compounds, that means they're going to be in the water almost some of like copper, for instance, will be there indefinitely. It'll do its job, but you'll probably have to retreat within weeks again. With nanobubbles, there's a real intriguing aspect to the nanobubble itself. They don't all implode right away. They can last upwards of a month in the water. And so you've got a longer term treatment of uh, a contaminated body of water. This treatment also provides an economic boost to the area affected. If you live by a body of water and that's part of your economy, the ability to clean that water and have people being able to use the water, coming to your area to see the water and vacation at your area is going to be a wonderful economic stimulus for them. But even more than that, it's just the ability to see clean water and wake up and see clean water and be able to fish or swim every day, I think is going to be great for people. Here we had a green technology that cleans up water, keeps it safe for human consumption, for commerce, for recreation, um, to get these toxins out of the water. I mean, we have bodies of water in, in the U.S. today, lakes, that are literally closed down to the public now uh, throughout the year. And if we can clean those lakes up of these problems, um, property values go up, uh, people have just generally a safer environment to live in with their water. And the hope is that we could see the value brought back across the nation. So, uh, the next big project that we're going to be doing will be a, a couple year project. And we're excited about the fact that we're going to be working with the U.S. Army Corps. It, it's in conjunction with the Ohio EPA, the U.S. EPA, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, uh, the Ohio Clean Water Initiative, Ohio State University, um, the University of Florida, and some of the projects that we're working to get to in Florida uh, are also going to be involved with uh, the Florida DEP, Department of Environmental Protection, and local sponsors of different counties and water districts that are involved in these projects to help them help get them off the ground and see what they can really do as far as big projects where we can really start cleaning up some bigger bodies of water. I think everybody wants to see clean water. And I, I think if you listen to some of the scientists, the ability to have clean water, green technology that leaves the water with only oxygen in it to make it safe for people to be in it at a reasonable cost, I think to be able to fix the world's water is a golden opportunity to do something really great. Visit our website or call to learn more about this product or to help support green water solutions.